everyone, Beth here. So today I'm going to make a video where I show you how to make a trade using Ether Delta. So you can see here that my Ether Delta account currently has 1.436 Ether in it. Um, so I am going to right now that is just in the wallet. So if I want to be able to trade it, the first thing that I'm going to have to do is deposit it into Ether Delta. Um, Ether Delta is a decentralized Ethereum token exchange um, where you can exchange ERC20 tokens. You are responsible for your private key um, as it is a decentralized exchange. So, okay, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my Ethereum here and I am going to deposit it. I need to make sure that I leave enough for gas to get anything that I buy back off of Ether Delta and into my Ethereum wallet. Um, so I would like to go ahead and I'm going to put 1.3 Ethereum into Ether Delta and that will create an Ethereum transaction. They give you a transaction hash right here. If you click it, it will take you to Etherscan where you can monitor the process of the transaction. Um, Etherscan is a really very useful block explorer for Ethereum if you have not used it. I suggest you check it out. So you can see that this is pending on um, a pending transaction for Ether Delta. Uh, but since I have it open here on Etherscan, I feel comfortable going ahead and closing this window here. Okay, so here, this is the price chart. Um, right now I'm looking at the 10x pay token. And you can see this is the depth chart. Uh, currently, uh, you know, the middle, there's some a, a gap here in the middle ground between uh, what we have here as the buy offers, which are buy orders coming in at 0 0.0172, and then the sell orders, so there's a gap up to 0 0.0181. So we'll see how that how that gap comes together. Uh, it looks like it has the candles here are moving in, in an upward direction. So 10x has been having a really good run in the last week. Okay, just check back in and the um, Ethereum Etherscan is showing that this Ethereum transaction has completed, this little check mark there. Uh, so now if I go back to Ether Delta, we'll see that I have now a balance of 1.3 Ethereum in my Ether Delta uh, on the platform, so in my trading available to trade. And then in my Ether Delta wallet, I have retained 0.136 Ethereum to use as gas when I transfer these out uh, when I for every trade and then also when I transfer them out for any transactions that are going to be put onto the blockchain you're going to have to be using some ethereum as gas and for every trade that you execute using ether delta since it is a decentralized exchange you are having to pay those transaction fees because every transaction is a block is being added to the blockchain so that's it. That's where this is, a, you know, different than a centralized exchange. Just that every every trade is entered into the blockchain on Ether Delta. Okay. So today, oh, it's coming back up so much. I've been watching Veritasium down at 0.37 Ethereum. So well, my plan was to come on here and purchase some. Veritasium, but this has come back up substantially. So, you know, I still think that this is undervalued and I am going to go ahead and buy some more of this before, um, you know, before it, it goes back up any farther. It had been quite a buying opportunity hovering at around um, three Veritasium for every Ethereum, which you know, just a couple weeks ago, it was at, at parity with, with Ethereum. So, 
that was quite a buying opportunity. This is still a buying opportunity, I think. And so I will be looking at just going ahead and executing a trade here. Um, I am going to buy, I think, about two Veritasium here. So I'm just going to click that order and that'll bring up that I'm making a buy order here. And I want to buy... Um, let's use let's see if it let's see point nine Ethereum. Let's see if it will change here. Yeah. So that will get me one point nine six seven Veritasium. So I think I'm pretty comfortable with that purchase and then that will give me um, about point for Ethereum to buy some 10x pay tokens with because I'm very excited about 10x. So um, here, so I'm going to go ahead and make this order. Hopefully it's still there. It'll tell me in a moment if I've made it. Yep. So I made an Ethereum transaction. I can track it by clicking the transaction hash. This is the transaction I just executed. So we can see that it is pending right now. But because I do have Etherscan open, I am comfortable closing this window while I wait for that transaction to go through. And now I am going to come over here to 10x and I am going to buy some 10x pay tokens. Um, let's see if I can. Normally, I just come and choose the lowest price. But because there is such a gap here, I'm going to actually make a buy order and I am going to make an oh you can see that this in fact has completed so if we check back with either scan there's our check mark showing our completed transaction oh so there it is now I have 9.09 .09 ethereum here on ether delta that I can trade with so back to 10x so I have 0.397 Ethereum available right now for purchasing. So, so if I'm going to make an offer of 0 0.0174 and I have 0.397 Ethereum available for purchasing, I will be able to afford to buy 22 pay tokens and that will be 0 0.383 Ethereum. So I am going to go ahead and um, make this order. Uh -huh the buy order here and we shall see if anybody takes it. I just sent an order to the order book. So now I've shown you how you can create your own sell order and send it to the order book or you can choose an order out of the order book to purchase or sell. If you're selling you can choose someone's buy order and sell directly to them. Okay so now I refreshed Ether Delta, and you can see this is my active order in the order book. It is um, for 22 pay tokens. So we'll see if anyone takes it, but um, it will last for a thousand blocks. So it'll be there for a while. Alrighty, well, um, that's it for today. So if you found the video to be interesting, uh, or helpful at all, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. I would love to read your comments in the comments box. And that's it for today. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.